बैंकिंग लॉ नोट्स बाय एम जी लॉ नाउ वी विल डिस्कस पावर्स एंड फंक्शंस ऑफ रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया अंडर रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया एक्ट एंड अंडर बैंकिंग रेगुलेशन एक्ट ओके सो पेज नंबर फोर्टी टू रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया पावर्स एंड फंक्शंस ओके वी विल स्टडी दैम अंडर टू एक्ट्स वन इज रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया एक्ट नाइनटीन थर्टी फोर एंड अनदर वन इज बैंकिंग रेगुलेशन एक्ट नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन ओके फर्स्ट वी विल सी दी पावर्स एंड फंक्शंस ऑफ रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया अंडर रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया एक्ट नाइनटीन थर्टी फोर ओके फर्स्ट पावर इज करेंसी नोट्स इशू इट इज द एक्सक्लूसिव पावर ऑफ रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया टू इशू करेंसी नोट्स ओके ऑन दिस करेंसी नोट्स देर इज सिग्नेचर ऑफ गवर्नर एज यू मे हैव सीन द करेंसी नोट्स लाइक दिस करेंसी नोट्स एंड हेयर इट्स रिटर्न बाय द गवर्नर लाइक आई प्रोमिस टू पे द बियर रुपीज टेन एंड देर इज साइन ऑफ गवर्नर ओके एक्सेप्ट वन रुपी नोट और कॉइन ओके द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट इशूज वन रुपी नोट और कॉइन ओके एंड देर इज फाइनेंस सेक्रेटरी साइन over there the one rupee note the uh, reserve bank of india does not issue one rupee note it is issued by central government okay and the signature on one rupee note or coin is of the finance secretary of india okay it's not of governor of rbi reserve bank of india is a banker to the government okay it transacts government business okay it is a bank to the government okay it provides banking facilities to the government like in the foreign exchange of government in the remittance from one country to another and other banking operations of the government next it's the bank of the banks okay it's the bankers bank like all the banks in india it is a bank to them okay supreme bank so it keep deposits of the banks and provides financial assistance to banks okay it has control over all the banks in india it is a controller of the banks it provides supervision to them it issues and suspends the license of the banks it is inspects the books and accounts of the banks it gives directions to the banks okay and if there is some wrong doing in the bank then it can remove the management of the bank it is the controller of credits how the volume of credit created by banks the volume of loans and advances are, which have been lent by the banks it controls them okay it controls the inflation okay the price rise it ensures the price stability okay it controls the price rise it ensures price stability okay it controls how much money is in the economy of the country okay it does all these things through these types of instruments like cash reserve ratio statutory liquidity ratio and bank rate we will see in next point how they control all these like it sees that the banks are complying the statutory reserve ratios okay bank are obliged to keep cash reserve called statutory reserve with rbi rbi directs the banks to keep a certain percentage of their cash with the rbi through this the rbi controls the credit in the economy and the money supply in the economy so if rbi directs banks to keep 4% of their cash with the rbi then the and if it increases that amount like if it asks the banks to keep 5% of their money with the rbi then the banks will have less money like suppose bank have 100 rupees first rbi was asking to keep only 4% like 4 rupees the bank were having 96 rupees with them now rbi is asking to keep 5 rupees then the banks will have only 95 rupees now it will have less money to lend so there will be less money in the economy okay so this is how it controls the credit supply in the economy and money supply in the economy the RBI has the power to collect information collect credit information from any banking company okay it can collect credit information from any banking company 
आर बी आई हैज़ द पावर टू मेनटेन करेंसी वैल्यू द करेंसी वैल्यू मीन्स द वैल्यू ऑफ इंडियन रुपीज़ इन कंपेरिजन टू अदर फॉरन करेंसीज लाइक डॉलर पाउंडस एट्सेट्रा आर बी आई इज़ द कस्टोडियन ऑफ फॉरेक्स रिजर्व द फॉरेक्स रिजर्व ऑफ इंडिया इट इज बीन इन द कस्टडी ऑफ आर बी आई रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया ओके इट हैज़ द पावर टू रेगुलेट फॉरन ट्रांजेक्शन अंडर फेमा अंडर फॉरन एक्सचेंज मैनेजमेंट एक्ट इट रेगुलेट्स द फॉरन ट्रांजेक्शन फॉरन एक्सचेंज ट्रांजेक्शन द ट्रांजेक्शन विच आर डन इन अदर करेंसीज ओके इट इज द मोनिट्री कंट्रोलर ऑफ द कंट्री मोनिट्री कंट्रोलर मीन्स द सप्लाई ऑफ मनी हाउ मच मनी इज बींग सप्लाइड इन द इकोनमी इट कंट्रोल दैट यूजिंग द पावर्स ऑफ सी आर आर एस एल आर बैंक रेट मोरल सुचन एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन थ्रू एन एग्जाम्पल इफ इट इंक्रीज दीज रिजर्व रेशियोज द मनी लेफ्ट विद बैंक थ्रू दिस इट कंट्रोल द मनी सप्लाई इन द इकोनमी अदर डेवलपमेंटल एंड प्रोमोशनल फंक्शन ऑफ आर बी आई आर इट एनकरेज बैंक टू ओपन रूरल एंड सेमी अर्बन ब्रांचेस सो दैट द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ रूरल एंड सेमी अर्बन एरिया दे कैन रिड्यूस देयर डिपेंडेंस ऑन लोकल मनी लेंडर्स ओके आर बी आई इस्टेब्लिश डिस्काउंट एंड फाइनेंस हाउस ऑफ इंडिया टू प्रोवाइड सिक्योरिटी टू डिपॉजिटर्स इट हेल्प इस्टेब्लिश डिपॉजिट इंश्योरेंस कॉरपोरेशन ओके इट हेल्प इस्टेब्लिश फाइनेंस फाइनेंशियल कॉरपोरेशन टू प्रोवाइड क्रेडिट टू एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर थ्रू डिपॉजिट इंश्योरेंस कॉरपोरेशन इट प्रोवाइडेड इंश्योरेंस टू द डिपॉजिटर्स हु हैव डिपॉजिटेड देयर मनी इन द बैंक सो इफ देयर इज एनी प्रॉब्लम देन देयर मनी विल बी सेफ आर बी आई प्रमोट्स आर आर बीज मीन्स रीजनल रूरल बैंक टू एक्सटेंड बैंकिंग फैसिलिटीज टू द रूरल एरियाज ओके इट हेल्प इस्टेब्लिश एक्जिम बैंक एक्सपोर्ट एंड इम्पोर्ट बैंक ओके टू प्रोवाइड फाइनेंस एंड सपोर्ट टू एक्सपोर्टर्स ऑफ द कंट्री the powers and functions under rbi act they are complete okay now we will see the powers and functions of rbi under banking regulation act bra okay what are these powers and functions so first under bra under section 17 it is discussed about power to maintain reserve fund the rbi directs the banks it has the power to ask or to direct them to the direct the banks to maintain reserve funds okay under section 18 it has the power to ask the bank to maintain cash reserves okay under section 20 it has the power to dictate terms of the loans and advances and provide guidelines about the terms and conditions and recovery and interest rate of the loans and advances under section 21a it is written that the interest rate which the banks provide to the general public they can the interest rate cannot be under scrutiny of courts the court can not scrutinize the interest rate on which the banks provide loans and advances under section 22 it is the power of rbi to grant licenses and to cancel licenses of the banking companies under section 23 it is written that the business places of bank banking companies they have to get prior permission of rbi to open new branches or transfer existing branches under section 24 rbi may ask banks to maintain assets in gold security certain percentage like the rbi can ask them to maintain certain percentage of their assets in gold securities under section 27 it can compel the banks to submit their monthly returns accounts and balance sheets under section 351 it has the power to inspect banks on the direction of central government under section 35a it can give directions to the banks in the public interest or in the interest of banking policy under section 36 of bra it has further powers and functions like it can caution or prohibit the banks against any transaction if there is any risky transaction or any fraud transaction it can caution the banks okay against the transaction or it can prohibit from doing the transaction rbi assist in amalgamation of banking companies if there are two or more companies if there 
is going to be amalgamation of them then rbi assist in that amalgamation okay amalgamation means they become one then it, rbi also provides financial assistance in the form of loan and advances to the banks rbi has control over the management of the banks through various sections okay under section 36a the central government after consultation with rbi may acquire any banking company if it is satisfied that the banking company has on more than one occasion failed to comply the directions okay if the banking company has on more than one occasion failed to comply the direction given to it then the central government after consultation with rbi can may acquire it or the bank is managed in a manner which is detrimental to the depositors okay and the acquisition should be in the depositors interest and in the interest of banking policy and for the better provision of credit okay rbi also do suspension and winding up of banking companies in suspension the extension proceedings are taken against banking company so for some time the operations of the banking company are suspended okay in winding up it ends the banking company and pay debts to the creditors who has given the debt to the banking company and distribute any surplus among the members of the banking company okay rbi also helps in reconstruction and amalgamation of banking companies okay so this was the powers of rbi under rbi act and banking regulations act okay if you are interested in this pdf for the revision okay you can get it from the description box i will provide the link there or in the comment box next will be fema foreign exchange management act